Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Today, Brian and I are leaving to go to Knoxville slash Oak Ridge area up in Tennessee. It's about a three and a half hour drive from here. So we are leaving in just a few short minutes, actually, around noon, so about 20 minutes or so we're gonna be leaving. Um, Brian is actually out for his walk. He is um, on his lunch break right now. So when on his lunch break, he always takes a walk. So that is what he is actually doing right now. And then when he gets back, he's gonna shower and then we are going to leave. So like I said, it's about three and a half hour drive from here to Knoxville. And then tonight we are actually meeting my niece Hannah up there for dinner because she recently moved into the Knoxville area and got a job over there and she actually signed the papers on her new house today so hopefully with dinner and everything we will be able to go see her house if it like isn't far away from like our hotel and all that good stuff so um, I'm excited to spend the evening with her have some dinner with her and chat um, it's just so nice to be able to do that so I always try to make it a priority when I am near family or up somewhere or near where family is going to be um, to always reach out to them and always see if they are available for dinner. So um, I'm excited that she is and I'm excited to see her. So uh, yeah, in about 20 minutes we're going to hit the road and we're going to be on our way to Knoxville. So I will see you guys somewhere between here and Knoxville. Let's go. Good morning friends and happy Thursday. This morning we are waking up in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. If you guys know nothing about Oak Ridge, Tennessee, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you Google Oak Ridge, Tennessee and read about what put Oak Ridge on the map. It's very, very interesting. If you guys have never heard of Oak Ridge Laboratories, look into it read about it find out what it's all about because that is exactly where i dropped brian off this morning is at oak ridge laboratories huge huge highly secure place lots of interesting stuff around here regarding oak ridge laboratories so that's where i dropped him off this morning that's where we're going to be at for today and tomorrow so um anyway um, a really pretty area too, very mountainy. Um, a lot of people call these hills, but these are the mountains. It's, I believe these are part of the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. Um, the Smoky Mountain like trail area around Tennessee. I could be wrong, but I'm, I think they're the, considered still the Smoky Mountains because we are really close to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge as well. I think we're about an hour or so from there, um, which that's where we are headed on Saturday to walk across the Sky Bridge, which I am super excited about. However, um, Tuesday night when we went um, for that business meeting, I, when I got home and we got into bed and I finally relaxed and turned the TV off, I got super, super sick to my stomach and ended up throwing up. Um, and I got, I got sick and I only did it one time. So it must have been like maybe something I ate, but nobody else got sick. So it just been something that didn't agree with my belly. Um, but then all day yesterday, I wasn't feeling good either. I had a headache. I was feeling yucky to my stomach, just really didn't eat anything because I was just afraid number one for driving I just wasn't didn't want to have to pull over and be sick or whatever so I kind of just ate some crackers and kind of had some stuff up and and whatnot and then um last night we had dinner with my niece which was super super nice we went to a restaurant called Calhoun's um really really nice restaurant on the river enjoyed every single minute of it it was so nice visiting with Hannah and her husband Bradley um and then I came back here and I got sick before I even left the restaurant didn't throw up but was just like sick uh and then of course this morning I'm kind of waking up still feeling the same yucky ugh, feeling you know um like my stomach's a little upset so obviously I might have just like a little bit of a stomach bug or something or is it just like my normal yucky IBS for a couple of days type of thing I am out of my um, probiotics so I really haven't been taking that for the past couple of days because I ran out and every single time I go to the freaking store I cannot find any of it so it's 
out everywhere that I've looked. Um, so I'm headed out now and um, I'm gonna run into like Target or Walmart or something and see if I can find it there because I really need my probiotic. And even though I've said before that the probiotic is not 99.99999% proof that it's gonna help me, but it does um, lessen, less, does, it, is that the word? It does minimize, let's say, it does minimize the amount of time I get sick. So, you know, I, I, I may not get sick for a whole month and then I might get sick for an entire month. So anyway, it just like minimizes the IBS issues. But I am gonna run and do some of that today. I wanted to go, there's a penitentiary. Did I even say that correctly? I don't even know. There is an old state penitentiary here and then I thought about going to and touring, but since I'm not feeling very well today, I'm hoping that this will kind of go away and then I'll be able to do it tomorrow because I would love to, to tour the, a, a state pen. Who, who, that's awesome. That is like the coolest thing ever. Um, but yeah, let's go run around. Um, let's go see what we can find. Let's go see what we can do. And um, hopefully I can keep from being ill all day. I have water with me. I did take some Pepto. Um, but I'm hoping I can find some probiotics and then, um, ugh, yeah. So hang out with me while I'm feeling ill. And one month from today, or yeah, November 1st. So one month from today, we will be at Universal. So excited about that. So freaking excited about that. Um, another thing too, we are staying at the Doubletree um, Hotel by Hilton off of Illinois Avenue in Oak Ridge area. It's a nice hotel. Um, beds, same old thing, you know, just our normal little beds. There's like a little chair to sitting area here. I have just like not organized a lot of stuff. So a lot of things are not organized the way that I would normally organize them. I just kind of threw things in here last night. Um, Anyway, this is just my shirt. Just ignore my ignore my little hotel mess. But um, anyway, so you have a TV and a dresser here, um, a little desk area for computer or putting on makeup, and this is where I put on my makeup. I just put everything over there in the corner because that's, you know, just a nice little spot for me to put everything. And then um, here's my water. And then they give you these little garbage bags to put all of your towels and stuff in and any garbage. And then they want you to leave it outside of the door. Um, that way they can minimize any of the cleaning that goes on um, here at the hotel while you're in your room. Um, but they also have a, ho um, a hotel restaurant here called Birch Fields. Um, and they have all kinds of like food here that you can get as well. And then this is a customized you're clean while you're staying here so they kind of give you you know for the comfort we want you to stay um, undisturbed as possible so we will only provide housekeeping upon your request um, then of course the bags are for your linens and your garbage and they just want you to set it outside of the door um, when you're finished with it so that's what we're gonna do with garbage or whatever and then of course I already have some of our linens um, right there, towels and wash rags that we used this morning. I'm gonna put the towels in there. I have the wash rags in there right now. Um, but anyway, so over here is just a, like a little coffee area. And then of course, then a refrigerator in here as well. Um, I've already put some waters in there so they can get nice and cold for the day. Um, and then of course, this is the bathroom area which is a nice long sink, which I love when hotels have long, nice sinks because I can set all of my stuff on here. So as you guys can see, I have all of my hair stuff in one bag and then all of my toiletries in another one, lotion, face wash, um, my, what is this, nightlight for the bathroom, for the hotel room. Brian has one too. <laughs> He keeps one in his bag too. So we both always have a, a night light because if we're ever like alone in a hotel, well, at least we each have one. So, um, but anyway, it's a nice hotel. It has a nice connecting door there. And again, just another view of the room. And right now I seem to be feeling a little bit better. My stomach isn't as ugh, as it was earlier. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and head on out and try to find some things to do. I know I wanted to run to Old Navy really quick. Don't know why, just because there's one here and I can go do it. Give me something to do. Um, and then of course Target, because I want to try to see if I can find some of my um, probiotics. And then Brian wanted me to go to Target too for something and I don't remember what it was. 
I said, oh, I'm just gonna run to Target and I'll find something there. But I don't remember what he wanted. So that's kind of kind of a bad thing. But anyway, so yeah, let's hang out today. And I hope that you guys enjoy hanging out with me. Let's go find something to do. This is the elevator and it's really slow, but I like that they're open. I love open elevators. I just think they're just so neat. Some people don't like elevators. I don't mind them, especially when they're open like this because then I don't feel like so claustrophobic. I am always afraid that they're gonna stop and I'm gonna get stuck in one. <laughs> Alrighty, so I just got back from Walmart and Old Navy. I hit the jackpot on Old Navy. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down and probably just do a, an Old Navy haul for you guys. And then I'm gonna post that separately from this video because I think right across the street, well, right next door to the hotel is a TJ Maxx. So I kinda wanna go in there and then there's some few stores back in that way that I wanna look at as well and check out. And I do know that there is a Halloween spirit store across the street. So as long as my belly holds up and I don't start feeling sick again, um, I'm going to make my way across the street. But I'm going to give it about an hour, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, just to see if my belly kind of settles down just a little bit. Because I was kind of like rushing it through um, Walmart and Old Navy. But I did pick up a lot of cool Old Navy stuff. Mm -hmm. You guys know how much I love Old Navy. But I want to show you guys what I did get at um, Walmart really quick. <clears throat> So last night, it's funny, Brian went down to the little vending machine or whatever and put in his dollar and it kept spitting his dollar back out. So he came back down here, fr frustrated, little sad face. And he said, do you have four quarters? And I said, yes. So I gave him four quarters. So he went back down there, put the four quarters in, hit the button and it kept saying error. And so, well, he wanted like three musketeers and it said error. And then he's like, fine, I can't get three musketeers. So I'll get a Twix. Then it hit at error. And then so finally he hit like another number and I think it was like an Almond Joy or something like that. Anyway, he got an Almond Joy, but he wasn't happy about the Almond Joy. He wanted a Three Musketeers. His heart was set on a Three Musketeers. So when I was at Walmart, I'm like, well, I'm gonna find Three Musketeers for him. So that's what I did. <laughs> I got him a, like those big bags of Three Musketeers. So I got him a Three Musketeers bag of, uh, candy bars so he can have one like tonight and tomorrow night or whatever and then I picked up some Heath because those are my favorite candy bars I love Heath bars and then I picked up some Pepto diarrhea this is the new stuff I've never heard of Pepto diarrhea before but I got this one I picked up some Imodium I've already broken into that sucker so I could take those and kind of start relieving some of these diarrhea symptoms and cramps and pressure and bloating and whatever else. And then I did find the Renew Life Extra Care Probiotic and the 30 Billion Live Cultures. Um, <clears throat> so this one has 50 capsules in it where the normal ones that I was always getting always had just 30 like a month supply. So this has 50, which I'm happy about that. But the bottles are also kind of different. So I'm not exactly sure if the pills itself are the same or if they're different as well i don't know it looks like they've changed their packaging a little bit and it just kind of freaks me out a little bit because i've been so used to like the other packaging that i'm just not sure like this one is the right one but it is the 30 billion <clears throat> so i'm hoping that uh this is the right stuff but anyway so i've already taken an emodium today and i'm about ready to take a swig of this stuff and then i'll probably pop one of these just to be on the safe side but Anyway, so there's my Renew Life. There's my stuff that I got from uh, Walmart. And now um, I'll probably sit down and just do a quick Old Navy haul for you guys. Alrighty, so I'm over here at TJ Maxx. So let's go see what they have. I haven't been in TJ Maxx in a very long time. I haven't really looked for any Ray Dunn stuff and I actually haven't looked for any Halloween stuff either. So let's go in and check it out and see what kind of stuff that they have. They actually have some really cute like pom-pom wreaths. Those are cute. I like those. And I like the purple and gray ones as well. Those are cute too. Um, I don't know how much they are. Let's see, $14.99. That's not bad. Those are cute. And I like the black feathery ones too. That's cute. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna set them all off. From what I'm finding so far, they do not have a lot of Halloween stuff out. They have some cute towels though. 
These are really cute. I like the black and white ones with the little pumpkins. Those are cute. But really not much else. Alrighty, so TJ Maxx was kind of a bust. I did get two Christmas gifts while I was in there. One for Parker and one for Lucas. And then I did pick up some uh, Mickey spatulas. Some Halloween Mickey spatulas. They're super, super cute. They're just the mini. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny. Mini Disney spatulas. They're just Halloween ones. But they're the, ton the smaller ones. Minis. But now um, they didn't have any Ray Dunn stuff and hardly any Halloween stuff. So now I'm going to try to go over to the Halloween store and see what they have over there. And then I'll probably just go back to my room because it's only uh, 1.15. So that's probably what I'll do. <laughs> It's really not much I want to do. Oh, I thought I might go into the I might go to a park or something. I might go see if I can go walk down to this park. Well, I'm not gonna walk down to the park. I'm gonna drive to the park and maybe walk around the park. All right, let's go to the Halloween store. Alrighty, so the Halloween store was a little more packed than I would have liked it to have been for me to like vlog and share in there. I always just always feel so uncomfortable doing that especially when there's a ton of people around but I did find this park I think it's called AK Bissell Park and I'm just gonna go ahead and walk around this park for a little bit and I there's some water and a cute little bridge over here and then there's some type of a bell or something so I'm gonna walk over there and check it out and I'll take you guys with me so this is what the park looks like these trees are absolutely beautiful over here see how red they are and how they changed already so pretty but it's got a nice little like walking trail like a walking path around it super super nice i'm gonna make my way over to those trees and then something about that bell over there is significant for this area i think all right so this bell is called an international friendship bell and i'm gonna read it from my little um travel app that I have. It's a Japanese bell, four tons of solid bronze, one of only two known to exist in the United States. In spite of Oak Ridge's role in the development of the atomic bomb, the International Friendship Bell celebrates growing friendship and peace with Japan. That is interesting. Very cool. I don't know if there's any, anything else about it. That's it. Nothing else interesting about it huh okay so that's a friendship bell and I guess like you can swing this and it hits the bell I'm not gonna do that but that's what that's called and it says it right here on the side international friendship bell very very cool like hmm like what's inside there can you guys see up in there oh can you guys see up in there <laughs> I won't be able to see up in there until I edit it because I'm not going to bend over and check it out. But that is quite the large bell, that's for sure. It's got like a goose on here. That's really neat. Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941. VJ Day, September 2nd, 1945. Huh. That is interesting. I wonder what the whole... I'm going to have to look that up. Peace. Hiroshima, August 6, 1945. Nagasaki, Nagasaki, August 9th, 1945. That's cool. Huh. So basically, this was on my roadside attraction or roadside America roadside attractions app that I use for when I'm in different places and I want to look up like roadside attractions I have the app which is right here it just says roadside America and then it just kind of gives me a list of things that I can go see and things that I can go do in the area that I'm in and this was one of them so this is at AK Bissell Park which is just like seriously right around the corner from my hotel but yeah you know very cool Oh, this is really pretty and relaxing. There's a lot of fish down there, too. I really don't know what kind of fish they are, but there's a ton of fish there. Little teeny tiny fish. Can you guys see them? I love that sound. Isn't that like a pretty sound? So nice and calming. Just so pretty. I'm going to walk 
across this little bridge. Let's see what they have here. There's a little view of the water. I was standing right over there and it comes down here and flows down here. It is really pretty. Calming, relaxing, really nice. And over here on this side is more. Awesome. This was a nice little walk. Very nice. This is a really nice park. I love that all the trees are changing colors. Like right there, smack dab in the center of the screen, you can see that tree has changed colors already. It's so pretty, it just stands out. So nice. This is where we're gonna have dinner this evening. It's called Crafters Brew Market and Social The Kitchen. Brian's beer flight is on a little airplane. Look how cute that is! Yeah, there's these are the ones that he got. Wow. Very cool. Drink them fast. Oh my god, you're gonna be buzzing. <laughs> Hello, hello friends. So, good morning, happy Friday. Um, it is a little after 11 o'clock, and I hope it's 11 o'clock. I think it's 11 o'clock. My car hasn't switched over yet, but I think it's a little after 11. I believe that it is. So I'm actually gonna go get, um, that guy was so grouchy. I was just being really nice to him. So let me just tell you what happened. I, you know, pushed the elevator button to go down and obviously he grabbed it to go down as well, but he was starting from the top and working his way down. And it opened up on my floor, which is the fourth floor. And he was the only one in the elevator. And I um, said, do you mind if I, you know, go down with you? And he's like, no, 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 come on in. I'm like, okay, great. So um, it was just a quick ride down to the floor. And when you come out of the elevators, you can go right or left and it'll take you around to the front doors here. So he went to the left and went around and I went to the right and went around and we kind of met at the doors. And then he stopped again and he let me go. And I just chuckled a little bit because I just thought it was nice. And um, he goes, I'm, I'm not doing it because of the whole effing mask thing. He goes, I'm doing it because I'm a gentleman. I'm like, oh, well that's fine. I'm like. No worries, I said it's all good. But yeah, he's like, it's not because of an effing mask. I'm like, alrighty then. It's I wasn't it I didn't think that you were waiting for me because of the whole mask thing. So, um dude, calm down. He may have woke up on the wrong side of the bed, may not have had his cup of coffee yet. Something that he might want to go do because it's like, okay, it was a whole mask issue. Anyway, so Basically, I haven't done anything all morning except for take a shower, do my hair, my makeup, all that good stuff. I actually, while I was doing my makeup and my hair, I actually watched the the um, rest of my show that I didn't get to finish watching last night, which was, I'm trying to get that so it stays up and not bug you guys. Dang Um, Which was... Pocus Pocus. And it came on last night, obviously on Freeform, and I watched it up until he woke up the witches and lit the black um, flame. And uh, then I went to sleep because I was like tired. So I ended up watching the rest of it this morning on Disney Plus. I, it's so funny because I don't watch that any other time except for our Halloween, you know, October-ish, because I just don't feel the need to. And um, I get so excited when it is October and I can go watch it. So that's what I did. So 
I finished watching it this morning while I was getting myself ready for the day. Um, I think I'm actually going to run over here really quick before I go get lunch and see if I can get into the Halloween store. If it's even open, we shall see. Uh, but anyway, oh, it doesn't even look like it's open yet. Oh, crap. Crappa, crappa, crappa. And then I'm just going to run across the street and grab Panera and uh, a sandwich and some soup. I have not had Panera in a very long time. And you guys know how I always used to go to Panera Bread um, and in Georgia. And since we moved, I haven't been to Panera. I don't know if they're open. Oh, their doors are open. So maybe I can go in and see. Uh, so yeah, let's go see if I can go over there. And then afterwards we'll go get Panera. And then I'm going to go back to my room and watch a documentary on Chris Watts because it's a new documentary on Netflix and I really want to watch it. So that's probably what I'm going to go do. But first let's go into the spirit Halloween store since I missed it yesterday. Yay. And it doesn't look crowded today either. So I'm happy about that. Oh, little kiddo. cool stuff in there it's a very small tight store I'm so glad that I did not go in there yesterday because it's a very tight store and this is what I hate about these freaking masks it's stuck in my earrings and then I pulled one out the other day and I lost an earring dang it okay so let's go get some lunch at Panera and then we'll go back to the room and uh, eat and watch that documentary Alrighty, so they actually have a new mac and cheese, which is like a broccoli cheddar mac and cheese. So I decided to get that and I got a different kind of sandwich as well. A chicken teriyaki. So I really hope I'm liking it. The chicken teriyaki. So I got this uh, half of that and then a small bowl of the mac and cheese and then it's sweet tea. So that's what I got. I wanted to try something different this time. Even though I always love my one sandwich, I just didn't see it up there on the menu. And I always love French onion soup. But, and today's kind of like a chilly day, so it's perfect for hot soup. But I'm going to have hot macaroni and cheese, and it's good. Bacon, cheese, and cheddar. Y'all, yeah, please. So, um, while I'm waiting for that to come, I, I went and filled up with gas too right before I came here and ordered my food so now my tank is full of gas it will get us to Gatlinburg tomorrow and home so I won't have to do that again and then um, as soon as I get my food I'm gonna go back to the room and eat it and show you guys what I got and I'm gonna watch my documentary my phone is charging now so I don't run out of battery <laughs> all right and we're off we're off we're off <laughs> this little car like my Car that I've been filling up with gas it only took like $22 to fill it up and it wasn't exactly like empty either but um, it only took 22 bucks and that's always nice I see here they have like an Aldi right here um, I'm not an Aldi fan I think I went to Aldi one time in the nine years that I lived in Georgia maybe twice maybe twice I went to Aldi I just I don't know why I just don't go to Aldi well, good grief, all of a sudden, like everybody deciding to go to Aldi or something. Heck. All right. Dang. Lots of traffic here in this little town. Okay, these people went to Panera and those people went to Aldi. All right. And what's nice is my hotel is just right down the street. It isn't far at all. So that's nice. 
And so I get so excited when I go into the Halloween store because I'm like, oh my gosh, I want this, I want this, I want this. I totally can dress up and look so cute. But we're actually, whoa, hello. So we're actually flying out on Halloween though. We're actually uh, flying to Orlando on Halloween. So I really can't like dress up for trick-or-treaters. Um, hey, did they cancel trick-or-treating around you guys? Are you guys still doing trick-or-treating? I know that if we were staying home, I would definitely make sure that we had candy. And I do believe like our subdivision was going to just be, um, just handing out candy, I think. I don't know. But this will be the first, obviously, a first Halloween, not at our new house. But to see the trick-or-treaters, because we never really had any trick-or-treaters at our house in Georgia. Um, I don't even think we had one last year. And then Brian and I always end up eating the candy. Mm, so sad. Um, <laughs> I'm not mad about that. Oops, I gotta get over here. I am not mad about the fact that we've had to eat that candy. But anyway, so it'll be interesting to fly. But I thought maybe I will be a little cutesy. Basically, I should have got those ears while I was in there. They had like really cute like kitty cat ears. Um, I could have got those and then wore those on the plane with my Hello Kitty um, Halloween shirt where she is she's a little bat so cute and then I just wear like a black cardigan with it and of course a pair of jeans and some tennis shoes or whatever because that's just like comfortable for flying but I don't know we should see maybe there's going to be a, a store by us open so I could probably go do that all right so I'm at my hotel at a park and I'm going to go have lunch I'll see you guys in a little bit all righty so I have my show already in queue to watch so right there I've washed my hands, I've sanitized, I've come back to the room. This actually looks really, really good, as does this macaroni and cheese. I think they could have filled this up a little bit more. Um, like, give me a full bowl of macaroni and cheese. Come on, for 14 bucks. So, yeah, I'm a little ticked off about that. But I am going to go ahead and give it a try, and I will let you guys know what it tastes like. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try the sandwich first because it just looks so good. There's like cut up cucumbers and stuff on it and teriyaki chicken. I wanna get like a bite of the chicken too. Mmm. That is a good sandwich. I love all the little cucumbers. Those are so good. I love a good cucumber. That's a good sandwich. Very, very good. Mmm. I'm definitely not disappointed in that sandwich at all. All right, here goes the mac and cheese. The bacon cheddar mac and cheese. That is really, really good too. Wow. I'm definitely not disappointed in either one of these. I just wish they would have filled this up a little bit more. But, I mean, for $14, that's only a half of a full bowl. They needed to fill it up a little bit more. Come on, Panera. Get your act together. All right, so I'm going to sit here, watch my show, and I will talk to you guys later. Alrighty, guys. So, I've made it out of my room once again today. It is 2.30 in the afternoon, and my niece, Hannah, texted me, and she said that she got off work early today, so if I wanted to come over and see her house now, I could. And I said, perfect, because I'm just laying in bed watching a documentary again. I actually started watching the Challenger documentary, which was about the um, Challenger explosion in 1986. January 1986. Um, I remember that day. I was actually in school, um, like a lot of people who were, and um, we were watching the Challenger itself go up. It was a big deal because it was a teacher going, so I guess that was a big deal. Um, but anyway, we were in school watching when that happened and when it exploded, So, and then my brother was born just a couple days later. I was 12 years old old when that happened crazy but anyway back to my niece so last night we were supposed to go to her house and see and see her new house but we got to the restaurant because I wanted to eat before we got to went to her house um, but anyway the restaurant that we ate at last night kind of took a little bit longer than we expected and uh, it just kind of took over our time and we were unable to go to her house which was unfortunate so and she was leaving last night anyway to go visit some friends uh, so have a girls night out or whatever so 
we ended up like not being able to go and I told her I said well let's just plan it for tomorrow night which would be tonight around five o'clock and she said that'd be perfect but now she got up early so that's where I'm headed so I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we're gonna go look at my niece's new house she said she's getting some painting done um, before she moves in so I think they were painting like she has painters there painting or painting going to be painting soon so um, yeah, I'm excited to share the new house with you guys. I'm excited to see it too. Um, and I know she's very, very excited to show it to me. So anyhow, um, it's about 15 minutes down the road from our hotel. Go figure, how is that possible? But anyway, so I will um, see you guys when I get there and she can probably do a tour of her crib because that's what she likes to do. So I will see you guys there. If you guys really need to like know or if you care or not but I have to go pick up Brian now first so I got I was like nine minutes away from her house and Brian texts and says hey could you swing by and pick me up I'm like okay so now I'm out here on the property to go pick up Brian oh my god <laughs> but it's good so he can go look at Hannah's house too so he'll be happy to be able to go do that so I am out here on the um, laboratory property I can't go into the gates though that's a like, very restricted like no 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 girlfriend can't go to the gates so I have to actually stop before the gates and then pick him up so the guys that he's working with just kind of leave him well they go with him they drop him off at this little area here so high security ladies and gentlemen high security through here so i'm gonna pull into this spot i'm gonna pick him up and then we're gonna go to pick up hannah's <laughs> so this is her like living room area and the front door and they're painting so that coral color will be gone <laughs> in her cute little kitchen and then her laundry yeah. Cute kitchen. Really cute. Like running when they painted it. Yeah. They have to go back through and fix all that. And the kitchen, it was this color, that teal color. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, this is the best part. Oh my god. It's the half. Oh, half. The yeah. The, the bathroom is that and color too. Yeah. Wow. That mm -hmm. is, yeah, very, right. yeah, very, very, yeah. <laughs> oh, what is in here? Yeah. Yeah. Dang. But I am happy to have it half bath. Oh, yeah. yeah, that is nice. Really nice, actually, uh, off the kitchen. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice pantry. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so glad you're... This color is you're painting it, right? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, really good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, this is the master. It's the same thing. They had to leave... Oh, yeah. Why did they not put it in the center of the room? Yeah, that needs to be centered. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so tacky. Yeah, they're ceiling fans, but they're ceiling fans. They uh, they sure they're do. Oh, yeah. Ours don't have fur balls on it yet. Oh, it does. Nice so, little pantry yes. or linen closet. Nice. Big shower. Uh, Purple pee pee. I know, right? When you flush it, it just does that. Closet. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, a little walk in. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. This is just yours, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good for Alex. Go upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, tub with some jets. Yeah, I miss my jets. Oh yeah, that's a nice tub, Hannah. Yeah, I'm excited. You yeah. can hang out with that tub. Yeah. yeah. I always want more. I have one with Nice. Glasses, and one. you know, that thing will look, will that thing fit perfectly across here? That It might, yeah. actually, probably. Yeah, yeah probably will. Because it expands and yeah. whatever. So. That'll be nice. Nice. This yeah, is I'm Hannah's gonna... cute little house. Cool playhouse. Yeah, and so what are your, what are your, like, so I have Brian with me and we are at the historic Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. And this is what it looks like on the outside. How cool. I get very excited about things like this. Dangerous since 1896. There are dangerous conditions ahead, including, but not limited to, indigenous snakes, uneven surfaces, and possible paranormal activity. Oh my God, that's so cool. Let's do this. So, yeah, bullet holes. Yeah, yeah, lots of them. Dang. Mm -hmm. General admission, warden's office, and administration. But again, we shouldn't talk about that. Mm-hmm. Is that where they shot people? 
No, well, I don't think that's where those are. I don't know if that's what that is. Line people up against the wall and shot them. Maybe. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. No. Things are different back then. They said paranormal activity goes on during the daytime tours. Let's see if we can find something. They were just in train. So that's where they were keeping track of criminals. Commissary area. Convicts were allowed to visit the prison commissary each week. Minimum and maximum security prisoners had separate designated commissary windows. Wow. Designated windows. This is where they'd get their stuff. Is, is, is it this one? No. That is so cool. Look in there. Yes. So this is the like courtyard area. So this is where they played basketball. The gymnasium's like right over there. The museum is over there. More cells over here. This is so freaking cool. So this was a tour continues this way. My husband took off without me. Oh wow, cool, yeah I want to. shower area Ooh. kind of like scary right don't bend over and then here's some of the cells yikes like no freaking way like look at the little cubbies over there let's see if I can stick this in there yeah look at the cubbies oh my god So the, you could go visit your inmates in here. This is where they would come out. And in here. The visitation room. Wow. Inmates at this institution have listed eight of some visitors. Wow. Look how long this is and like their views was like no views at all except for like crazy windows could you imagine that's crazy no <sighs> yeah behind steel bars somewhere when they lift it up on the bar somewhere these pins would come up out of here to mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Lots of nice murals on the walls. Chow time. Three times a day. Wow. Oh jeez. Oh wow. Oh my. So they were saying that um, two kitchen inmates turned on a third one and used a meat cleaver to separate his spine while the other sliced off his arm with a long knife. Thereafter that, prison officials mandated all kitchen utensils be identified and outlined on a pegboard so that each tool was accounted for in case a prisoner was tempted to go on a killing spree or made the deadly mistake of cutting in line again. Yowza. <laughs> so this is where they would go get their food. So there's all that. Wow. 
if somebody had their spine severed while we're where we're at right now. Um, scary. Wow. Any paranormal activity going on over there? Right, there's uh, magazine cutouts of women on their little tray. I don't know, it's a good question. I'm going to have to like research that. I'd like to know how long those have been there. Yeah. All that barbed wire. We took it all down back there. Mm -hmm. So they don't have any back there, any barbed wire, barbed wire, but there's the like guardsman shack right there. Wow, look how you had to step up in there. Yeah. Oh, falling off. oh yeah, horrible. Let's see. I can look in here better. Oh yeah, weird showers. So this was considered solitary confinement. Wow. So just one bed. Yep, one person for one Yep. <clears throat> yeah. That's insane. And they really escape when oh yeah. Not just the bars, it's this yep. on top of the bar. Yep. So they must have done something really bad to be in solitary confinement. Dang. No, oh, he must have been a race fan. Mm -hmm. Back in the day. This is like the back part of the prison area and that's where we just walked from was the solitary confinement area. I don't know what these little bunker hills are for. What the hills are for. Like those big hills right there. Huh? Probably. For Probably. Yeah. Hold on. They hold concerts and stuff out here too. And they're actually having one tomorrow night, they said. And this is where they host them. How crazy is that? Out here in the middle of nowhere by a prison. Brian stumbled upon the gymnasium. Very cool. The prison gymnasium. Neat. All the trash cans obviously ready for the concert tomorrow night. One more, try it again. Oh my word, Brian, those are probably gonna fall off the wall. <laughs> okay, let me get a picture of you doing that out here in the prison yard. <laughs> I don't want to trip over this rebar though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. How just sad and scary all at the same time, you know? Mm -hmm. Just sad. Oh, museum's that way. So this is the laundry room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fluff and fold. The holes. <laughs> The hole is temporarily closed. Oh no! I wanted to see the hole. Dang it! Oh, games. Oh, painted by a, an inmate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Oh, here's more stuff. Ah, you're not leaning on glass. Huh. Brian had pointed out that this is a misprint. It should say prisoners, not prisoners. <laughs> to hide contraband. Look at that one. Bong pipe for drugs. Out of a glue. Hmm? Bong pipe for drugs. What do they do with that cassette cassette tape, the eight track tape? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's so interesting. Look at that. Wow. And they hid stuff in there. Bar of soap card out of to hide contraband. It's a handmade gun right there. That's cool. Twenty-two caliber gun hidden in toilet by inmates for years. Look at that. Handmade gun. Prison made syringe. Airbrush used to hide pills. Wow. Oh, really? We can't do three days. Yeah. So I took him to Murfreesboro to the battlefield. Yeah. And uh, I had to take him. I always go, like, I'm big. If I find a penny on the ground or any coins on the ground, mm -hmm. I pick them up. Yeah. I, when I go to the battlefield, I always go and visit One Grace, and it's Jasper Quigley. Uh huh. Did you feel anything? Yeah, I felt you something. Feel like Did you? They said Jasper Quigley died in Tullahoma, and that's where I live in Tullahoma. Oh, do you? My, my parents live in uh, Winchester. Okay. Yeah. No. My sister's a so probation I, officer I, in Winchester. I work in Deckard. I work at Nissan, so. Oh, my sister is a probation officer at the Franklin County Department there mm -hmm. in Winchester. Um, I, don't, I don't go into Winchester except to go to work. And that's yeah. It, and I go home. <laughs> I go back to work and then go home. Oh. Yeah. yeah, there's a... We, we felt something... At Jasper's yeah, grave. Jasper's grave. Mm -hmm. And then I felt we walked around some of the graves, some of the graveyard and felt more presence of stuff. Mm -hmm. But like there's areas that you feel at peace, like they're at peace. Mm -hmm. um, and have you ever been to Hell's Half Acre over there? Mm -mm. Go to Hell's Half Acre. Oh, okay. Go to Hell's Half Acre. Where's that at? It's, it's right up from the battlefield. It's oh, okay. actually the oldest standing war memorial in the world. Oh, okay. And that's in uh, Murfreesboro, you said? Yeah, it's oh, okay. Right there. It's the one. It's the oldest standing Civil War memorial in the world. Yeah. Okay. And it was donated by a black former slave who donated mm. the land that it's on. He nice. fought in the war and they bought it. it and donated it nice. for them to build it. Well, it was already built at mm -hmm. that time because they, mm -hmm. they actually built it right after, what was it, 14,000 yeah. mm. men died? Mm. I think, I think it, I've I probably seen the sign a million times, just never stopped. Yeah. Hell's Half Acre, like, it, mm. like once you walk in to where the memorial is, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, I haven't felt anything here. I've been. Yeah, it's... Have you ever felt anything before? Mm -mm. Well, I take that back. Yes, I did in Savannah. Really? Yeah. At Pickett, uh, we were at a hotel Shiloh. one night. Yeah. I have family in Counts, Tennessee. And that's where basically my mother's maiden name is Counts. And that's mm -hmm. where all the family is. So I feel something in Shiloh. And mm -hmm. that's, of course, I have family buried in mm -hmm. graves here. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Shiloh is one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil mm -hmm. War as well. And then she told me about her going to see Jasper, and I'm like, I looked, up, looked him up on him, and I said, oh, he passed away in Tullahoma? Really? Interesting. Uh, that's kind of a coincidence. Yeah, that's interesting. I do. I mean, for some, and I don't know, maybe if it's possibly I'm wrong to him, because that's my son, and he was the same age as my son is. Mm -hmm. and, to me, that's traumatic. Mm -hmm. But I know that there's several other sons that are the same age as my son that mm -hmm. died. Mm -hmm. I know. I mean, because they were young. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, and I mean, there's so many unmarked graves there. There's no telling how long they've been there. Like, no, well, how young they are, how old they are, who they are, right? How old they were when they died. Right. What their family is. And their family wondered what if happened. If they even knew. Mm -hmm. Is know. this like the first prison that you guys ever toured through? Mm -hmm. It's the first prison I've ever toured. Yeah. Either one I should. 
Alcatraz is awesome. I didn't feel anything there. No, but yeah. it's just awesome. Yeah, it's just really cool to tour through that. We did it um, back in 2013, I think it was. And then I was there again last year, but I, I didn't go through it last year because it was already booked when I got there, so I couldn't go through it. So, But it's very cool to go through it. A lot of famous, you know, well-known yeah, criminals. Really Here, yeah. yeah. Alrighty guys, so we had a very full and eventful afternoon. We went and seen Hannah's place. Uh, we went and toured that prison, which was so amazing. What, I, I mean, I love stuff like that, being able to tour prisons like that. It's actually the state penitentiary um, <clears throat> that um, James Earl Ray was, um, um, he, there he was there incarcerated there so if you guys um james james earl ray is the guy accused of assassinating martin luther king so <clears throat> very interesting very cool i love touring that stuff um but we just went to dinner down at outback and we are stuffed to the max brian just jumped in the shower i'm getting ready to take off all of my makeup my hair putting that up getting my jammies on and then we are going to be leaving for gatlinburg tomorrow morning i wanted to end the vlog so i can start a whole new vlog tomorrow and we're going to be doing the sky bridge tomorrow and i'm super excited so i hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me the past couple of days if you did huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we are getting ready to watch the nightmare before halloween this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Do 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 do. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.